Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset and restore your Toshiba Satellite C855D device running Windows 10 to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best Manage should come up with Reset This PC right above System Settings. Just left click on that one time to open up the Settings screen here. Now if we direct our attention over to the right, underneath Recovery, Reset This PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on Get Started. So we're going to have two options here, either keep your files or remove everything. If you just want to keep your files, it still will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. Now I would still highly recommend creating a backup to an external media source for your important files and documents. And the second option, remove everything, as it implies will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. That's one we're going to select for this tutorial to reset everything, so I'm going to select that option. So it's also going to ask if you want to clean the drive as well. Now if you're going to be holding on to your computer for personal use, I would recommend just selecting Just Remove My Files, which is quicker. Now the second option, if you're going to be donating or giving your computer to another group, I would suggest selecting Remove Files and Clean the Drive. However, like I said, most people just removing your files would be sufficient. And finally, you're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all these items here. So all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any change made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin this process so it will take some time. Please be patient, let it run.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our Toshiba Satellite C855D laptop has been restored back to factory settings. So at this point, feel free to reinstall any applications that were removed during the process of factory resetting our computer, and you should hopefully be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial.
Goodbye.